Okay, hello everybody. Um, we've got a very interesting match. <laughs> Worst possible matchup against Mo. The team that I hate the most, Norse. Although I don't hate them that much as Wood Elves because they do counter Wood Elves somewhat. Um, so, you know, fair enough. Oh yeah, so I can can look through the team. So Mo, Mo has picked Mighty Blow and his Yeti, of course, for Mighty Blow Claw. Blocking enough to make him more reliable. Mighty Blow to get the Mighty Blow Blitz every turn. Guard, because you need Guard. Dodge to make his runner a bit better. And Tackle, because, you know, you've got to take a sixth skill and there's nothing really else for Lyman. You could have taken Dirty Player, I guess, or maybe Kick. But Tackle seems a good shout with ghouls and wood elves running around and gutter runners um, and then I've gone tackle strip on the war dancers leader on the thrower block on the catcher a couple of dodge on the linos there you go he doesn't have sure hands he does not have sure hands but he's got a cho he's got to choose between sure hands and dodge hasn't he so dodge is better on most turns against most people. So I I'm fine with going dodge there. <laughs> yeah, exactly rest of development, yeah. Yeah, stars, yeah, of course. Stars are obviously pretty, pretty powerful. Um, kick so I can defend with 11, I guess. I can just try to turn him over and win. Hey, okay. Let's go. I'm going to go one behind to limit his... Friendsiness. Yeah, maybe I should have received and try to go for the draw. But I can't not go for the win. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I should have received and try to take the draw. Yeah, I guess I should have received and gone for the draw. Yeah, you're right, Sean. Sean is right. But every time I receive against Norse, what happens is I make my OS blocks, roll a bunch of both downs, hurt my own players, don't hurt any Norse. So why not kick and defend while I've still got 11 players to defend with if I'm trying to win? But I guess I should have tried to just draw. So, yeah. Hello, Scooter. Yeah, I should have just tried to draw. The, the chance of me winning against uh, Mo is uh, low. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, Arrested Development? The worst thing is, right, the worst thing is I shouldn't have been replaced because I'll actually be in England at the time now. At the, when, when, it, when it was announced, I was like, I won't be an England fan. And then I was like, fuck, I'll be in England. And I could have totally gone. And now, you know, my position is already gone. So, feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. It's been pretty cool getting the getting the crew back together. Because the other three are there: Malmi, Renzo, and uh, Pete W. I might not be there, and I might not be in England anyway, to be honest. But I just think I will be in England when it's on. Let's 
Let's have a look. It's in January, yeah. Shit. Could it um, I think I'll be in England in January, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to England for as long as it takes to get everything sorted and official to um, 20th of Jan. Mm, 20th, 21st. So, you know, at the end of the day, if I can get everything sorted out, uh, then... Um, No, no, no. Now you tracked him down, awesome. Yeah, I saw that he hadn't been on for ages. Oh wow, didn't I? Unbelievable. Ah, uh, chess. Yeah, he said that he played chess, yeah. Yeah, Jelly Hill. Um, jelly Deals. Oh, Jelly Hill fucking doesn't have sound on. Oh, fucking hell. Jelly Hill really grinds my gears, man. If you, if you, here, look, if you ain't got fucking sound, just lurk. <laughs> you can't keep saying stuff to get me to respond. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> Yes, Marion Tummer, there's no progression at all now. It's absolutely fixed. Um, but anyway, for the benefit of everybody, um, for the benefit of everybody except Jellyel, who's funnily enough the only person who even fucking cares, um, <laughs> uh, Endzone's really good at chess. There you go. And I knew he was really good at chess. <laughs> right, I can smash him, smash him, smash him, smash him. Just start with the safe moves first. Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, it takes a lot of players just to block him. Could blitz him, block him. Can I do all of that? Two players there. Two, three players there. One. I think I can do it. Right. Huh. Great start. Right, player there. Two players there. Block him. Player there. Blitz. Oh no, blitz him and then blitz him. Block him. Uh, Gonna go over the attrition. Oh, it's already that's already so you can just hit him. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? And then I can leave him alone, dodge away and stuff. All right, howdy, howdy, howdy. Get banged on. Where's the tackle? There. Wow, knock down Norse. Fuck about. <laughs> what is even happening? Even broke armor. Didn't hurt anyone, but. 
So, like, even though he kind of split his team, encouraging me to split his team, I just thought, focus on focus on attrition, because he's a team of Armour 7 shitheads. And then hopefully next turn I can pressure the ball away. <laughs> That's awesome, but yeah, that does happen. Block, block, blitz, run, run, block. Res is fixed, yeah. Scooter, it is fixed. <laughs> yeah, Kirk, all glorious. <laughs> he is going to blitz the war dancer then. I guess he hasn't got anyone else to blitz. So, oh man, imagine if he quad skulls here. Quad skulls here, he's just lost. Loses the game on a quad skulls. Lucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Resident Development. Inarian certainly plays like he's playing Res, doesn't he? <laughs> Tree's in a good spot here, isn't it? <laughs> Blue ball endurance. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, getting the, getting the stun on him is good. Could always go for the uh, the strip. Fuck about. The leap in is uh, is a very real possibility. I think I've got to knock these guys down and then mash stuff into here. Just isolate him. Block him, and then leave him on both of those. Or block with him, which would free up a ward answer. Don't really want to block without block. I'm, I'm gonna. I just want to leap in and one dice him because, you know, why not? Got a Kaz? Unbelievable. Right. Right, so leap in. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or something. Maybe I'll move one of these back. He just doesn't get blocked, does he? So I'll move him back there first. To there. Alright, so one player left. Because you never know. Got him. Oh, got him.
<laughs> that was disappointing, wasn't it? Count! Yeah, but with a follow-up, I'd be getting surf guaranteed by that by that guard blitzer. Now he might still he might still surf me um, because there's a big fucking payoff to surfing me, isn't there? So if he can protect the ball and surf me, he'll surf me. Um, but if I had followed up, he would have surfed me, guaranteed. <laughs> I'm going to start pre cutting before major actions. <laughs> the res rules in Blood Bowl 2. Um, well, I've got... There's this. There's this. Um, hmm. It pushes me to here, then it pushes me to here. I'm, I'm going to dodge. Oh no, he's going to push me up there, obviously. <laughs> oh, come on, fail. Fail, fail, you shithead, no son of a bitch. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah! <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Get fucking banged on. Oh, yes. Oh, pretty glorious. Right. <laughs> I forgot the guard! Oh, fuck my life. I forgot the guard. <laughs> oh, well, not to worry. <laughs> not to worry. Um... Holy shit, mighty blow guy. Greed is good. Greed is right. Greed works. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? I shouldn't have needed that reroll. Could have just two D'd him down. Punch this guy into the uh, tree now. No, I don't. Oh well, look. If I blocked him first, I'd just bolt down anyway. So it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't like having just the gain skills on because it's hard to tell who's a catcher. So even though this is the perfect thing to put on, it's a bit of a pain. Yeah. That would have been great to push his, uh, push his berserker onto the tree instead of just surfing the war dancer. But yeah, I really fucked up there, didn't I? Lucky as hell. Lucky as hell to get that... Um... <laughs> I think obviously the triple, the triple down was dreadfully unlucky for Mo. When I was calling the Norse piece of shit as well, by the way, of course, I was calling... It was, it was the Yeti player Moldripster. Not the Yeti coach, not the coach Moldripster. It was the Yeti player Moldripster that I was calling a Norse piece of shit. Obviously. <laughs> In case anyone's thinking that I'm being nasty to my friend Mul who agrees with me. It was just, 
It was just the player. He's, he is going to surf. He is going to surf this guy now, isn't he? Because he can't do fuck all to do with the ball anyway. But yeah, I totally forgot the guard then. After remember, like after remembering at the turn before, wow, how unlucky do you want to be? Um, after remembering at the turn before, that's why I blitzed from that fucking stupid angle. It was because of the guard and then forgot at the turn after. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable that. <laughs> I remembered then forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Arrested development. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nah, he's a move. <laughs> nah, he, he did push us to me for the first two. And that's one doesn't matter. Alright. Alright, should be able to make a good cage next time. There's Dingo. Got to jump up and he said I don't want to follow. He'll give me an extra block. Right, don't bolt down. can surf. <laughs> you can surf. Nah, I can't. I can come out of here, can't I? You shouldn't be able to surf. Don't re roll anything, so fuck it, let's go. Get banged on. Fucking prick. So you can't really surf that one. Can't get through there to surf um, there. Yeah, I'd like to use dodge. <laughs> I have got dodge to optional. Yeah, I've got dodge to optional because um, because I was defending a one turn, wasn't it? Unfortunately, the way tricks. If I put Kenny Loggins on, I can't put the uh, I can't put the game on YouTube. So, in an effort to not have copyright strikes, I'm not gonna put. You know, because like people like the YouTube. You know, I got I got an amazing email the other day. Um, shout out to to my email. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I don't know if you if you would want me to say his name or not, but I guess I could say his I guess I could say his first name, couldn't I? Where is this? Oh, I'm in the wrong fucking one. No, I'm in the right one. No, I'm in the wrong one. Right. So it's annoying when so many fucking email accounts. Um. Pretty amazing. Stuart. Yeah, that's it. Um, Stuart. I'm sure he doesn't mind saying his name. Sent me an email saying he loves the videos on YouTube and all this, but he can't watch live because he's always busy on no Wi-Fi. So he can download them off YouTube and watch it work. So, you know, that's... Uh, 
that's the thing, isn't it? You know, like there's people that do watch it. Um, so to not be able to put them on YouTube would be a bit shit, wouldn't it? I think. Even though I do, I do stream in the uh, in the 720 to make the stream better rather than YouTube. Um, like the stream's the priority, but I think you know it's worth making it good, isn't it? Right. He's got dodge. If I power him though, it, ma it means these guys can come through here, doesn't it? Which is really good. So, but he's only um, got dodge. And I could dodge through here as well, so I think it's better to blitz this guy. Also got tackle to deal with a dodge guy. No, of course not. Right, brilliant. Great stuff. Okay. Might as well move this guy in, there's no reason not to. He could 3 plus 2 plus through here. He can, uh, hooked up. Beast, beast, beast. Don't use a reroll here. But I've got the feeling I might have to. I can't I can't use reroll three turns left. Just can't. So that makes this a 1 in 9, which is better than the dodge, isn't it? Hope oh, dog, base, base, base. <laughs> This will fail. Yeah, something is more about Euro Truck either. Boom, boom. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? I should do Euro Truck again some now. Ah, I see it, you'll see like yeah, <laughs> yeah, the glorious breaks. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't fucking hate it, Arrested Development. Um But yeah, there's a lot to be said for being able to control you. Audiences, isn't there? And you just need to tackle, don't you? At the end of the day, you need to tackle. If you could get a frenzy as well. But yeah, I have been stunned by a frenzy on a war dancer. But the the reason that these skills are as they are <laughs> are not really through any thinking of of, of my own part. And um, what happened was Strider eighty four, I believe, who um who was in charge of tournaments on Fumble. Uh, He's like he he uh, he messaged me and was like, "Jimmy, you dickhead, you've got to uh, you've got to do your team for the Europa." And I was like, "Oh shit!" So <laughs> I was past the deadline, but he's like, "You've got half an hour or something to get your team in." So I was like, "I need to copy somebody's team because uh, God knows I can't make one myself. Like I got I no time to think." So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just copy him. Uh, I'll copy someone." So I looked at. I looked at the various Wood Elf coaches in the tournament and I thought Strider 84 is the best, so I copied his build. That's literally literally what, what happened with his team, so yeah, there is that. Gonna be hard to store. Well, I guess I could have someone surf. It doesn't really matter, does it?
glitches at its finest, yeah. Yeah, I didn't care, you know, I was just like, use it. Right, blitz there, dodge out there, there, there. If he wants to surf, he can. I should be able to dodge out at the end anyway. Beast, beast, beast. This will feel. I could like to be able to surf him, but it ain't gonna happen, is it? If I don't power him, it's pretty horrible. Maybe I've got a blitz with this guy. That seems reasonable. Is that the tackler? Yeah. Shit. Go on. Eh? Guess so. Don't want to get hit by mighty blow, though, do I? Do that. It's simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. I guess this is where I'm most worried about. But it's the hardest roll to cover, isn't it? Oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I just follow where the data leads, absolutely. Spot on. Spot on, I don't think it is. The Europan is, well, whoa. I think this is the Europan online. I think you, the, Euro, there's the European Open is a tabletop tournament of teams of like six people or something from various European countries where... To use these rules for the teams and then there is the European which is teams of four people I think or three people yeah teams of three people that aren't um, aren't from like you know aren't representing the countries they're just like in, you know individual ones um, and this is the European online which is you know again teams of three people rather than team England or anything so the, the random team of three that I am part of is myself, Pete W and Malmia, which between us we have <laughs> we have like seven majors or something, because Pete W's won about four. I think Malmia's got a couple and I've won one. So um pretty good. Pretty good team. I probably won't be at the Worlds no or at or at any other kind of big tabletop thing. I don't really do tabletop. I might if I learn how to um if I, uh, oh fuck, is he just going for the 6 up? I guess it's 30%, it's not that crazy. Whoo, surfing tons. Ho 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 ho. I gotta go for the surf. I think I just have to. Oh, I could have done with a block catcher. Oh. Ah. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> and when I say get fucked, idiot, I mean Inari and the player, not Mulder's to the coach. Um. 
Could I go for a block? A two dice block. Like getting the surf I thought was worth it. Just a rando block. Oh it's fucking turn seven. It was his it was his reception, wasn't it? Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> right. Hmm. He could six plus dodge in to surf me. go here you can't surf me you'd six plus dodge in go there oh wow what a fucking dumbass I was thought it was turn eight I just thought it was turn eight because he did the six plus dodge in you know if yeah, I was good player by Mo maybe Mo thought it was turn eight but I just you know I just thought he'd have put pressure on <laughs> um. <laughs> he now in coach and I'm holding to the way. <laughs> no, I'm not that. Um. No, he, he he wouldn't lose a turn. I would lose my turn eight if he would push me in the end zone. So it saves me from it saves me from getting surfed. That that's definitely the right play to move there. But um, yeah, it'd be a TD and it would go straight the second half. So that was definitely the right play was to move there. Also, he's got to do two dodges to get there anyway, hasn't he now? Because he'd have to dodge in there and dodge in there. So that actually worked out an incredibly safe uh, safe position. But it was reliant on that dodge being made, wasn't it? But uh, fucking hell, it was scary, <laughs> forgetting what turn it was. But yeah, I, I just thought, I thought... Mo would have like slammed in this turn and then gone for the desperation move turn eight. So because he went for the desperation move that turn, I thought it was turn eight. But now obviously this is huge because it's fifty fifty to get him back, isn't it? Instead of seventy five percent. So taking no damage on defense against Norse is ridiculous. Well, yet he's still got a blitz, hasn't he? But that was it, wasn't it? It was playing the uh, playing the ball, and then he just couldn't tee off with a mighty blow blitz every turn and stuff. So that's why there is a lot to be said for Inarian style in bizarrely putting lots of players in contact can protect your team because now he's worried about the ball every turn instead of just blitzing with mighty blow every single time and fouling every turn. You can't really foul this turn though, I don't think. Well I mean you can if he wants, but he's got a he's got he's potentially only got eleven players, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true, Arrested Development. <laughs> um, right. I could block a player. Uh, how far is this? The two dice here, maybe. Two, three, four. Two, three, four, four. Two, 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 two. I don't want to make any rolls though. Maybe just two dice with block. A random dude. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Three dice with block. No, I can't three dice with block, but I can three dice without block. It is riskier, but the reward is greater, isn't it?
Touchdown. Touchdown foul. Boo. Make more than 46,000 happen. <laughs> Yeah, it's annoying as fuck, isn't it, Morgan the Mad? Well, the good thing is, with a naff ladder, that is solved. That problem is solved. Completely. You will only have to remake your team if you uh, if you want to change the skills on them. Oh, yeah, I forgot all the cheerleaders, God damn it. Hello, Jellyl. Can you hear this time? <laughs> yes, what I was saying before, which was frustrating because you couldn't hear, was um, Endzone plays a lot of chess. He plays speed chess. And I imagine he's very good because he's good at football, isn't he? But he, believe it or not, he plays or blitz chess or whatever he plays. And he spends forever thinking about his move. And then he just fucking does his move in like, you know, a second or whatever all at the end. It's funny when he does it in tabletop. It's even more annoying in tabletop than uh, than than uh, on fumble because, you know, obviously he just he just he just takes forever and then he just moves everything straight away. Um yeah, there you go, you just you just uh, apply there and follow the rules. Follow the rules and uh, Really, he plays a game of chess in 15 seconds. <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? But he said that's what he did when he played when he plays chess. He uh, when it, like you know when we went to the when we went to the uh, naff thing together. He said when he plays chess, he thinks for as long as he can. He uses all of his time for thinking, and then just does all of his moves in like in a few seconds. So I guess. He, with the other one, he just does his moves in a few seconds, and that's it. Right, so 2D him, 2D him, 2D him. And then just stall around, do whatever the fuck I want now, because I can just score at any time, can't I? Oh, Blitz. I didn't set up to counter Blitz. <sighs> I didn't set up to counter blitz. Obviously, he got a blitz. I should have realised that, shouldn't I? I should have thought, how? What is the only way I don't win this game now? And I'll tell you the only way I don't win this game now, and it's if he gets a blitz and I haven't set up to counter it. So, I should have set up to counter the blitz. Blots. That was like the only way he's getting in at this game, wasn't it? Literally the only way he's getting in this game now is with a blitz. And I just let him have it. There you go. Pro tip, everyone. Don't be a fucking idiot. If the only way your opponent can win is by getting a blitz, don't set up so that they can fuck you with a blitz. Pro tip. Fucking hell. And a good thing I can strip him. Jimmy, do you feel like you're immersed in the Blood Bowl world now? <laughs> are you having fun? That is what I heard kickoff events are for. Ah, yeah, it's my fault, Tony. It's my fault, though, isn't it? It's my bad play that's that's given him this. So, um, you know, I got lucky. I got very lucky in the first half. 
and then my bad players cost me. So, uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Absolutely fine. I really don't hope he doesn't make these GFIs, though. Oh, one at a time. The and there's no point doing the one at a time because he's going to make them both anyway. He's got to get him in there, hasn't he? To make it a one dice. So. <laughs> All like that. Um, right. That's actually better for him, isn't it? Because now he's got guard next to him. Holy shit! Oh, fuck this game. I was so bad by me. So fucking bad. This is annoying because I want to one dice him into a two dice, but then if I use him, how do I cancel this fucking block? Maybe with him? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Norse is the best Rius. One dice him with two dice there. Block him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's nothing else I can do. My fault though, my ship play. Can't can't complain. Oh wow. Thank you very much, VIP Mr. Yamandem. Sorry, I heard the fucking I heard the woman speaking and I just didn't even register. But thank you for the bits. And uh Norse is the best reacts. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell. Oh. Shit. I really fucked that. Yeah, it's funny that, isn't it? It's not if you... <laughs> Whatever your name is there. It's crazy there's people like that. I just don't fucking get it, man. There's quite a few people like that as well at the mad. There is, there, it is pretty awful, to be honest, because, you know, it's a Games Workshop game. So, although I love Games Workshop games... Um, you know, um, I don't even know, I've just lost what I was saying in that fucking sentence. Yeah, but, like, you know, to be fair, right, no disrespect to anybody who plays Games Workshop or frequents the Games Workshop, but all of the worst people I have met in my life have been in Games Workshops. <laughs> so, you know, that's it, isn't it? It's a Games Workshop. It's a Games Workshop game. And, you, you know, the people who play tabletop 
or people who've played it in Games Workshop and are Games Workshop enthusiasts and a lot of them are fucking knobheads. I'm one of them, you know, I play as well. My friends, to be fair, my best friends are people who play in Games Workshop. You know, that's the thing. People who've played in Games Workshop and work in Games Workshop are my, are my best friends. So... Um... You know. Nah, I didn't horse my mates using Werewolf Race and abusing the IP. It's not abusing IP, but yeah, I, n I never, I never, ever, ever, ever in my life have I ever forgotten to move my turn marker. Ever. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't abuse it, but obviously when people forgot, I called them on it, because you've got to, haven't you? It's the rules. I think the magic, the magic community smell more, but that's only because, um, <laughs> the thing with magic is, They're um they're in a confined space, aren't they? So magic does tend to be stinky. Very very fucking stinky. Yeah, because there's more of them, yeah, exactly. Because you've got you know, with, with Warhammer, 40k, whatever, you've got, um, yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not that they don't wash or anything, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's just literally because there's more of them, um, you know, if you, if you're at a 40k table, you've got fucking six by, it's six by four, isn't it, space, whereas magic, they're crammed in. On the magic, uh, with the magic boards and the magic boards with the magic, uh, well, play mats or whatever. But they're like, they're right, they're right next to each other, aren't they? And so he's going to score this turn, isn't he? I think, I don't think he'll be able to stall. So at least I should be able to win 2 1. I used to play magic. I used to play magic a lot. And that's the thing at the tournaments. Yeah. No, and not even a meeting hall, just like local shops, you know. You go to a local games workshop shop, right? A local games workshop has, what, two tables on? Two four by four tables? So at most, you've got four people playing. If you go to a, your local fucking travelling man or whatever, local magic shop, you've got easily like 10 people can be playing in the same place easily or 20 people so that's, that's just the thing isn't it <laughs> okay but still if you've got six for every two for every two four by four tables in a games workshop you're gonna get so for every four people in games workshop you'd easily get like 12 people in a in a gaming store wouldn't you so that's the point I was making, not whether how big your local games workshop is. Some are bigger, obviously. Like the one in Newcastle is pretty big. But um, like that's it, isn't it? It's the, it just takes, like you can really cram people in when all they need is to just be facing each other on a, like on a, on a fucking desk, like a school desk, isn't it? <laughs> like you had at school. Those kind of desks. You could have loads of people. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, sponsors are just cosmetic, yeah. Let's all go to the one in Newcastle. Newcastle's got an upstairs with like about four or five tables or something. And then downstairs they've got two or three tables. Um... Jeezy. Oh 
Now it's not a bug, Morgan the Mad. It's because he's got secret weapon. It's an effective secret weapon. And it's uh, working as not only intended, but just working properly. Right. Let's try a little bit more to counter the blitz. Strong smell of adult shame. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you know what? It's funny how it's funny how like you know, liking football is cool, and uh, liking Games Workshop is lame, and all this kind of shit. It's pretty. It's pretty sad, isn't it? But um. Yeah, I've, honestly, without 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 insulting Games Workshop, I did find a lot of them were fucking hard to take. But then the ones that were all right, you know, uh, we've we've been friends for life because of it. So that's pretty good. Well, there are a lot of dickheads at Games Workshops. Uh, well, in my in my experience. Yeah, exactly, just Joe. Yeah, it's stupid, isn't it? It's fucking daft. Playing COD. But not playing... Well, no. It's, to be fair, the, the, it's there's less stigma attached to, like, strategy games now, isn't there? But... Right, and it should be safe behind here, shouldn't it? But yeah, board games, definitely bad. Dick fingers. Yeah, maybe there's just a lot of dickheads, yeah. There's a lot of dickheads everywhere, isn't there, really? Let's be honest. Yeah, like World of Warcraft, there's a lot of stigma about that, isn't there, and stuff? Yeah, I imagine that is it, try, yeah. Yeah. I imagine that is it, try, yeah. People, people do. Like, because, do you know what? One of my friends said he was really competitive. But he wasn't really competitive, he just fucking cried when he lost. <laughs> it's not really It's not really being competitive, is it? Being a sore loser isn't being competitive. Yeah, I just think there's some people that are knobs and I think you know, they just I guess it's gonna happen in anything, yeah. But you would think that like you know, it's obviously it games works is obviously nerdier than like say football or whatever. And you know, if you're playing FIFA, you don't desperately want to keep everybody who's playing FIFA playing FIFA, do you? And you don't desperately want to get more people to play FIFA. Whereas if you're playing something really niche like tabletop blood bowl, you should be fucking wanting to keep people involved and wanting to get people involved and keep people involved, you know? That's what I think anyway. So that's why I think it is worse. With uh, people like that, yes. There you go, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, he was clever. You pushed him into there. Yeah, randomness, yeah, makes people salty. But, you know, saying about how they want to cheese a 2,000 TV team against a 1,000, like, to me, that's just so fucking dumb, isn't it? It's so dumb. Fair enough if you're playing football with somebody and you want to cheat a 12th man on the pitch or whatever because the other team ain't going to stop playing football just because you've cheated or whatever. So I can understand people cheating in, in mainstream things or whatever, but... Wanting to be an asshole in Blood Bowl, in a really niche, tiny niche game, just seems fucking dumb as fuck. But it does happen. Right, Blitz the Yeti. 
make some dodges. No, I moved him first. Alright, no blitzing of the Yeti then, I guess. <laughs> Don't you spend most of the time publicly insulting your opponent? Me? No. No. It's the it's the players. Ask Mo. Ask Mo when I said this piece of shit Norse motherfucker. <laughs> it's the player, isn't it? I'm not really insulting the coaches. Come on, man. Yeah, that's true, Ozzy. Yeah, that's true. A piece. Yeah, definitely less salty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Total Warhammer. The thing is, is that TUW must be Total War. War Total War. I tried. Um... <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's a development. Yeah. <laughs> um... Right, I can just blitz and it doesn't matter, does it? Let's go. Got my canoring threat, let's fucking go. Let's do this. And I'm gonna go back in here. Protect him from a mighty, from a frenzy hit a little bit. <laughs> Is it Pitha? Good evening, Marzen. Damn crossout shooter is grindy. Well, Jiranal, it depends. It depends. If you enjoy playing with a huntsman cabin and four cords, then um, this won't fail. I am on the right. And you just like playing the game, and you want to play until you use your 60k thing every day, then I think it's not grindy. If, however, you want, like, my vehicle as soon as possible, then yes, it's horrifically, horrifically, unbelievably grindy. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. Haven't removed a Norse, by the way, in all these turns, this half. I guess I've got a look at it, he's only removed one.
Yeah, I quite like watching fighting games, but um, I know I'd be fucking awful. And obviously, because the people who are good are like so ridiculously good, you can never be as good as them if you start now, can you? And it's like, it's the same with fucking shooting games, really. Like, you know, there's no way I could possibly be as good as somebody like Summit 1G. There's just no, no fucking way. It is indeed, Lemon is good, yeah. The potato. The potato will be in effect next turn. <laughs> wow, really arrested development. Wow, well, he's an asshole, isn't he? I just ban him from fumble. Straight away. There you go, fine. I mean I've been I've been really lucky in terms of taking removals. And the mighty blow hit every turn. Pretty unlucky to get that fucking tree booted. I mean, at least I'm probably not losing on it by, by just by stalling for the first the first X amount of turns of this drive. At least, at least it's really unlikely for him to turn me over and score now, even if my score isn't too likely. Yep, Marzen sucks, doesn't it? But Naf is the answer to all of your problems. Right, I'm surprised by Mo here. Mo, a very good player, has, has, you know, he's put a lot of over here, hasn't he? He's put a lot over here and over here, and he's let me. Really, I like if this guy hadn't been rooted, I could have based him up maybe. But he's given me all of this space here, hasn't he? When I've only got three turns, I'm surprised. I've got to grab it. Maybe I just hope to base, base, base him. And then he, if he hits, he's got to follow into the tree. <laughs> oh yeah, I, like that's a thing. Look, when I'm when I'm uh, commenting and stuff, but I think that was like he's got he's got, to be fair. Look, no, to be fair and to be fair to Mold, he's trying to turn me over, isn't he? That's why. Well, no, he scored early because he could, because he had to. I guess he could have re reversed the turn after the turn after he stalled, but he hadn't. He didn't really have any choice about scoring early, so it's not as if he scored to try to win. <laughs> Sage said that <laughs> the game he drew with with Shawnee, where where Shawnee uh, forced him to score early, <laughs> he said, "I tried for the win but couldn't get it. I could have taken the safe draw, and it's like there was nothing safe about it. You did, and Shawnee forced you to score early, <laughs> and then two one grinded him. Unbelievable. But um, hello, Grindel. Yes, Naf is working now. Um, but you know, I guess." Mull went for the go for the win, which is, you know, if he's going for the win, he's got to put pressure on, hasn't he? Whereas if he wasn't going for the win, I guess he would have sat back more. Um, so it was a choice. I guess it was a choice he actively made. If, if he'd sat back to stop me scoring, he's just he can't win, can he? Whereas if he goes for it like he did, he could win. So 
No, I mean, look, I wasn't being hypercritical of Mull there. I just said I didn't think it was a very good turn. Uh, <laughs> he gave me a lot of space there, didn't he? But he's been able to make up for it anyway, hasn't he? Maybe I should have got a play around it like here. Maybe this, maybe this war dancer should have come to here or something. Because he's going to be able to make it pretty, pretty safe this turn. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sean. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, that was really funny. Hello, no act Oh, man. Just spent 90 quid to buy Britannia. Fucking Brexit. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, Naf is... Hello, Grindel. I don't know if I said hello, but um, I saw that you'd written hello, so hello, Grindel. Um... Yeah, I, I tend to watch it, watch them when I think I fucked up. Yeah. Well, BZL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what you try. I know what it's like. Yeah, no, I'm totally, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that before. Believe it or not, I've heard that before. He's made up for it this turn, hasn't he? But yeah, maybe I should have stuck more out here to stop him doing that. Maybe this war dancer should have been here. I just go for the touchdown this turn. Oh, I'm, I'm shocked. Now, now this turn I'm shocked at Mull again, right? Because now he's given us the knockdown here, the knockdown here, and move over here. Um, so that was that was fantastic positioning last turn of my lineman, eating that hit, getting him to move in. Yeah, I'm, I'm that. That does strike me as not a great play for Mully D. Oh, I just move him first, don't I? Make it safe. You fucking down at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's that's in range. Obviously, got some dice rolls to do, but you can't escape that, can you? Against a good player, as much as Fash wants. Um, <laughs> wants to Blood Bowl to be a game of no dice were rolled, therefore I played perfectly. Um, it's not really the case, is it? Double one. Fuck. Maybe I should have moved him first. Where could he have gone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Without moving, not really anywhere. Without dodging. Okay, I guess I could have moved him to there. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess... I guess it's not even that bad, is it, at the moment? Oh, no, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Maybe I should have moved that, that catcher first. But I wanted him to move him last and make dodges and GFIs with him and stuff. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, I guess I should have just moved him. Moved him to there first, and then gone for that dodge. Nobody's got frenzy, hasn't he? He's got strength or frenzy he can play to it. By not having anything in here, he just comes through. So four dice. He should he should get me down. Yeah, six dice, he's got a reroll. Yeah, six dice on the ball. He definitely wants it. <laughs> There's no way he's not really... He'll keep the first one. I think. And then he's got a GFI. No, oh, he pushed that bit. Interesting. Wow. Well, <laughs> he would have rerolled the second one anyway, wouldn't he? Imagine if he'd reroll the first one and got double score. Surprised he pushed that way. I would have pushed laterally and then backwards, so at least I would have had a GFI. I guess this way he gets to mark. Yeah, I guess pushing it that way, you could have put me there and then put loads of guys there, didn't you? Mighty blow piling on that gets another double. I don't know, no, I'm 
He could win, yeah. He's, he's in the scoring range. Yeah, I think if, if he got the push and he was there, he, if he'd pushed me to here, he couldn't get the players to stop me scoring. Whereas if he pushed me to here, he could have had an elf screen, couldn't he? So I think that was his reasoning. Yeah, depending, he's, he's already got a lot of skills, hasn't he? Mighty Blow, Piling On, Dodge, Jump Up, Tackle. There's five normal, there's five skills. So, if you take Juggernaut, you're putting off Jump Up or Dodge or Tackle till, till Legend, which is too much, so I'd probably just ignore it. Come on, fail. Oh, he stunned the Stripper as well. Phew. That was a bad, that was a badly timed double one, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a badly timed double one. Holy shit. Absolutely fucked me. Alright, so I just gotta leap one dice in. So. I didn't do anything. score he could, could do the recovery and then pass it to him so I could potentially blitz from here he could go in the end zone so he could he could dodge through fucking tackle and then GFI and that's good that's gonna be the best way hasn't it gotta be Kick it out that way and then you mag. The dodge was not needed. Really? Oh well, you're fucking stupid then, aren't you? Was it not needed? What was I here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could I have just done that? I was back here, wasn't I? One, two, three, four, five. Did I just not need to do it? Did it not save it? Oh, I'm just thankful. No one's perfect. Problem is that the fucking the cyanide auto pathing is so fucking bad that you've got to do it manually yourself all the time, haven't you? So you don't get to just fucking click and then see if you can do it easily. <laughs> Yeah, he's still an elf, that's the thing I'm doing. Yeah, he's still an elf, so... Depends how rowdy you want to be. If you want to have, like, a blood... I guess you do want to pile on every turn, so yeah, I guess you want to jump up. So you could go... Piling on Mighty Blow, Tackle, Jump Up... And Juggernaut. But if you're going to be using Juggernaut, then you, you want to be using Dodge, don't you? Probably. So you've got Mighty Blow, Piling on... Tackle... So you could go ju jugs jump up. <laughs> I 
Oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't dodge that one because it let him do it easier. Fuck. God, it's pretty annoying that I've rolled that double one, isn't it? <laughs> Had to make about three dodges. And like, maybe there's some GFIs to make it like totally safe. And then just double wand it. And lost the game because of it. But yeah, I guess I guess I should have realised that a double one would have been horrific, so maybe I should have moved the other catcher first. So again, my fault. Both both times, the, the, the non blitz defence and and the uh, and the not scoring, both my fault. Yeah, I don't think Jugs is worth it, I'll just go jump up. I don't see the point in Jugs. So no. I think it's shit. Honestly, I think Jugs is terrible, and I would never, ever, ever, ever take it apart from a big guy. So, so there. <laughs> I especially wouldn't take it for a double. So, it has fixed fan factor, yeah, Marzen. It, fan factor is fixed as well, yeah. It's back to how it was in the beta. Completely fixed. Norse so are a pretty bad matchup for Woody's, but I mean, I've done pretty well in not getting. I've, I've been pretty lucky, to be honest. Apart from that double one. That horribly timed double one. And you know, technically, him rolling a blitz was unlucky, but I should have set up to, against it. He's fucking rolled a six. Oh, thank God. Whew. Phew. Um, Jugs is great on a Seapom Wolf. I don't agree. Arrested Development. Claw, Mighty Blow. Oh, he's got Mighty, mighty Blow, Piling On, Block, Tackle, Jump Up. Um, dodge. So. And he's got Frenzy here. So there you go. 1-1. Um, one, one. Honours Even. Um, no star player points, glorious. So there you go. Um, I don't know. I've zoned out towards the end of it with all the talk and chat. But uh, the dodges weren't great, but I think I did some that weren't two pluses. But um, just the huge one was the double one, wasn't it? Was the, was the killer on that turn. But I should have moved the, the catcher first in case I failed it. And then it... You could have only got a one die, so it, it like the f I should have realised that he could hit with a with a Ulf Werner. Um, yeah, exactly, Mole GG. It was it was it was way too easy to score. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, Juggernauts. I do take Juggernauts on Troll Slayers. All right, I'm lying. I take Juggernauts on Troll Slayers. Um, yeah. So. So yeah, I think, you know, the the blitz was my fault for setting up wrongly. Oh, well, look at that. Twice as many ones as sixes. Um, I set up wrongly on the blitz, and I should have moved the catcher first without any rolls before moving, before attempting that and double wanting. So both both problems were my fault. Probably should have lost in the end, yeah, as, as Mull says, 44%. GG. Um... But I mean that's okay, isn't it? In a in a pretty bad matchup, no, so I think. Oh yeah, I said big guys. Obviously, jugs on big guys is completely different. So yeah, I take jugs on a rogue or a chalk minor, or not a chalk minor, or any minor. Um. But that's different because he can't get general skills, <laughs> isn't it? So there you go. That was okay. Anyway, draws all right, isn't it? Draw draw against. I'm always happy with a draw against Mull unless like he had a ogre team. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, and it was interesting. The second half, I thought, I thought I would have got the, I thought I'd have got the touchdown after the going side to side. Um, yeah, big guy, wild animals. Yeah, exactly. Not on Crocs because you just go stand firm guard, wouldn't he? Like everyone else. Um, right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.